Welcome to Miller's Monsters, and today I have to talk to you about something very near and dear to my heart. So gather near your phone, your computer screen, whatever you're watching this on, and listen up. This is a, an important message. Why can't I get a remake of The Night Stalker? They remake everything nowadays. They remake Scooby-Doo. They remake Adam's Family, The Monsters. They're talking about chips. They did that in the Hua movie. Get me a Night Stalker movie, remake, or film. I don't care which. A little history for all you youngins out there that probably don't know and thinking, what is this stupid old devil talking about right now? Night Stalker was the original before the X-Files, before Warehouse 13, was the Night Stalker. It starred Darren McGavin, and uh, he played Kolchak, which is a reporter that stumbles through these mysteries of the paranormal of cryptids. And it started out with two movies, okay? The Night Stalker, which was about Dracula, and The Night Strangler. Those were in 72 and 73. Those fared well enough that they produced a series in 1974. Unfortunately, like many excellent series, it only lasted one season because Darren McGavin was kind of getting tired of the character and it did not fare well in the ratings. But the creator of X-Files duly notes that his inspiration was the Night Stalker series. I remember as a kid uh, watching that series, sitting down every week to it, and watching uh, the night, the Night Stalker, late night one night on uh, uh, Hulahan and Big Chuck. You probably don't know their their TV host here in the Cleveland area. Look them up; they have a lot of great videos, and I'll talk more about them later. And I had uh, fallen asleep during that movie. And I woke up screaming. Woke up the whole house. Everybody came rang out. What's going on? What's going on? Well, I got scared by the Night Stalker in that time. And uh, it was a nice mixture of mystery, uh, comedy. Uh, of course, I had the uh, you know love of the cryptids back then. So those showing up in every hour was, was great. There has been talk about reboots in the past. Johnny Depp was attached to it at one time, who I think would he could be quirky. Uh, the Kolchak character is quirky, and uh, I think he'd go, do a wonderful job at that. And uh, I think also Chris Helmsworth would do a nice job at that. Um, he, he plays quirky well also, uh, you know, the Fat Thor character or uh, his thing in uh, Ghostbusters. Um, so there's people out there that can do it. Uh, I know people, you know, the big, big knock on it is, well, no one can do it better than Darren McGavin played Kolchak. Well, no kidding. No one's ever going to do it better than Darren McGavin. So let it go. If you want to get a remake of this, you got to support somebody else in the character. Three different people played Batman. Why not? Three different people played Superman. Not all were great. But uh, Henry Cavell seems to have done a nice job, and uh, people accept him, and who knows who else will, will play these characters in the future. So get on the bandwagon. Let me hear from you. Send me your comments. Who do you want to see in the Kolchak character? Would you want a remake in the first place? Uh, it's kind of muddied on who owns the rights to it the best I could find is ABC but uh, I can't even be positive about that go out look for the 50th anniversary uh, comic on uh, on the webs out there on the interwebs and uh, send me your questions thank you for listening to this public service announcement from Miller's Monsters I am B. Alzebub this year is Count Luna and I look forward to hearing from you Please hit like and subscribe if you like this video. Many videos coming soon. Again, thank you for listening.